we're having a little technical problem with Daniel. I think what he needs to do is check his mic because it sounds like it's cutting in and out. Ooh. So uh, I'm going to just put him on hold here for a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead, Daniel. I'm here. Oh, okay, good? good. It's just that I was hearing you cut out a lot before, so I was like, no, 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 we can't have that because I don't want you to, to you know, I, I want to hear what you have to say. So, um, oh, all right. Quick. Go ahead. Yeah, see that? It, it did it again. Hmm. Hmm. What you doing, Daniel? Me? I'm sitting here waiting for you guys to get your ducks in a row. Come oh, no, our ducks, <laughs> our ducks are in a row, actually. As far as I know, you're the one cutting out. That's the thing. Um, it, oh, it's, so my, uh, my, now, now it's my fault. Now it's my fault. I'm gonna... Can you hear me now? <laughs> can, you, <laughs> can you hear me now? Uh, <laughs> yes. So what, the... The, pre the presidential elections are a joke. It is a television show. Do not participate. Don't participate. Thank you. Exactly. Be, save this country by not participating. Ignore the federal government. It's just it's just a play. Just ignore it. All you need is your ten amendments and just you know. It, this is. I don't even know if I want to say this right now, but f screw it. I'm going to say, it. you know. Uh, I had a conversation in the past few days about my, the, where my activism is at and where it's going, and you know I'm, I'm tired of, of fighting for freedom. I'm really, really mm -hmm. tired of it, and that sounds crazy because I'm the biggest freedom guy that you'll know. But uh, the, the the problem that's going on in the in the liberty movement and the freedom movement <clears throat> is that the people who are in it are of the mindset that in order for freedom and liberty to actually come about, it must be collective. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, actually. It absolutely <laughs> does. And, th and this is what the problem is. A lot of the points that you make, it's like, you know, you have to keep repeating yourself. And I don't mind a little repetition. But sometimes, okay, it comes down to, look, uh, I've already beat this dead horse. All yes. right. The, the flies are getting in my face. Can I move on now? Haven't you got yeah. it? Um, yeah, and, well, and that's what it comes well, down to, yeah. And, 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 and I used to be the same way, especially when I first got, I was like, well, uh, I have to fight for everybody else's freedom. And I got news for you. This is sad to say. It really, really is sad, but I've seen it. I am for freedom, and I am for liberty, and I am for teaching people who are willing to learn. But I got news for you. A lot of people ain't ready for freedom. They are simply mm. not ready. They simply don't want it. And if, if you are in the liberty movement and you're fighting for freedom – and you believe that the, that, that the victory for freedom and liberty is going to be this mass collective freedom and liberty thing, then you are never, ever, ever going to see freedom and liberty in your time. Freedom and liberty starts in the mirror. It starts when you yourself declare it for yourself. You don't fight for anybody else's freedom. You just claim your freedom. And then as people come to you who are ready to wake up, to get out, then you take them under your wing. You're never, ever going to have a collective freedom and liberty. We've got to fight for freedom. No, we don't. You know, your freedom is already there, man. Your freedom is already there. Everybody's freedom is already there. But what people who are, who are still fighting for freedom are doing is they're waiting for somebody to hand them some type of certificate or something that says you're free. And then when everybody, enough people get it, then we're all free. Well, I got news for you. Some people don't want to be free. It's a fact. It's just a fact. And that's okay. That's their path in life. You know? So he's trying to explain to them this is all about being strong here in the mind. That's, that's where um, when we start to take action in this, in this realm that our strength has to reside. And he says... I am trying to free your mind, Neo, but I can only show you the door. You are the one that has to walk through it. So, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can show someone the truth, but you can't make them accept it. That's what he's saying. He's saying you have to let it all go. Fear has to be let go. Doubt has to be let go. Disbelief. Free your mind. He says, you're the one who has to walk through the door. Suggesting that ultimately only the person themselves creates transformation. Transformation is created within, and it's done according to our accepting the truth and then putting it into practice in our lives. 
So you're the one who has to do it. He shows them another training program, which they call the JUMP program. And this is about having faith in yourself. All right? He starts them on this building, and he's telling them you need to jump to that other building across an entire city street. And this is obviously impossible in the, quote, real world, but he's trying to, tr he's trying to train his mind out of its weakness and build up confidence and build up belief in oneself. So Morpheus makes the jump because he's already at that level of consciousness, and he asks him to follow. And of course, Neo isn't at that level of awareness yet, and so he plummets into the street, and you know the the street do doesn't kill him. It like you know acts like a trampoline, but he kind of is a little bit injured. He spits up a little bit of blood, and uh, I'm sorry. And he he says in this, if you're after coming out of that program, spitting up some blood, he says, if you're killed in the Matrix, that means that you die here. And Morpheus simply responds, the body cannot live without the mind. So ultimately the mind is what's creating our projections in the real world. So, continuing, he then shows him another training program that is all about the agents of the system and how they're really all around us. And the agents can be anybody within the system because the system is what people are attached to. Okay? So they're not willing to follow the truth. They're not willing to do the right thing. They're going to do whatever the system commands them to do. So anybody's a potential agent of the, of the control system. Morpheus says the matrix is a system. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters. The very minds of the people we're trying to save. But until we do, these people are still part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand that most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. Many of them are so inured, they are so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. They will fight to protect their enslavers. They don't want to be free because they've never even understood what the concept of freedom is, let alone practice that or lived it in their lives. They love being under control. They love being dominated. They love being enslaved. And they want it to stay that way. Because it staying that way means ultimately they have no true personal responsibility. The thing that they're really trying to duck more than anything else. So 